Hey there guys, in today's video we're just going to be doing a quick gear review of this Matrix Airsoft Rubber Bayonet. Now there's two main pieces to this, we have the sheath and then the bayonet itself. The sheath here is made of a hard plastic and it can be attached to molly webbing through these holes here or attached to a belt with a loop at the top. As for the bayonet itself, its handle is pretty hard plastic, it's nice and rigid. The blade on the other hand is made of rubber so it's pretty malleable. If you stab someone with this, I would advise against that because it's still going to hurt. It might bruise someone, but it's not going to penetrate their skin most likely. At the top of the blade it's kind of serrated, made to look that way at least, and then the rest of the blade is pretty smooth. At the top of the bayonet we have this little ring that'll go over the barrel of an airsoft gun. And then coming to the back of the bayonet we have these two little clasps, and this is what's going to allow the bayonet to lock into the airsoft rifle. So I should mention that this band is designed for M4 and M16 airsoft rifles and it should fit most of them. So here I have the JG SR16 M4 and we're going to be able to slide the bayonet just over the barrel and then it'll clip into this little nub here. And so this is what it kind of looks like as a whole when you get the bayonet attached to the gun. It's a little loose but it's going to stay on there as long as you're not hitting anything. Again, don't be stabbing anybody with this bayonet. Overall I think this is just a nice aesthetic piece to add to your kit. If you want to use it for melee kills you could probably just tap someone with it and that would work just as well. If you guys would like to learn more about this, I'll have a link in the description to the ebook page where I got it at. You can find these for about 10 bucks, so it's not super expensive. And as always, if you guys have any comments or questions, you can feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise, I think that's going to be about it for today's video, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.